to the top. Call to prayer in the background. The view of Ankara. Look at this view. I just finished uh, the uh, Turkish bath experience. It's the guy giving you a massage and kicking your ass basically. Good morning guys from Ankara, uh, Turkey. It's the capital of the, of the country. It's the next day. I'm not sure if this is gonna be the part two of uh, the video that I started yesterday, if it's gonna be an independent video. I believe it's probably gonna be a part two because it's, uh, that one got pretty long. Uh, but let me show you the site that I got here in front of me. Take a look. It's uh, the main mosque here in uh, Ankara and um, it was built between 1967 and uh, 1987 it's called Kokatepe uh, Mosque it's, a, it's in the neighborhood of Kizilai and uh, it can be seen almost from anywhere in central Ankara and it's also one of the biggest in the world uh, it's, uh, it has a capacity of 24,000 worshippers. I'm not sure if you can actually access as a non-Muslim person. Uh, and I'm not sure either where is the main entrance. But in case it's possible, we are gonna try. I had a pretty good night's sleep last night I was so tired from the last three days of traveling and the night train the sleeper train that I took yesterday uh, actually two nights ago and then I arrived yesterday morning here in Ankara from Istanbul okay I see the entrance over there but I would suppose that it's not possible to enter Let's let's see. Okay, shoes off. You see, we are inside. A lady told me that it's possible to enter. It's huge, guys. There is some construction going on. Unfortunately, I see. The sound is probably not going to be the best. I find it very respectful the fact that you need to take off the shoes every time you enter in a mosque.
All right, guys, it's uh, one hour afterwards, more or less. I took the metro and then I walked for 20 minutes or so on this road called uh, Lions Road. It's about, uh, yeah, I don't know, maybe half a kilometer or something. This is, we are right now in the complex called Anit uh, Kabir in um, the Gankaya district of uh, Ankara. And this is the area where there is, is located the mausoleum of uh, Ataturk, who was the revolutionary who uh, unified um, and created uh, firstly the Turkish Republic. And he was uh, buried uh, here, not we now made it in the main mausoleum. You can see this is the main one where uh, Ataturk has been uh, buried. I'm trying to see who are these guys in blue. What are they? <laughs> Almost looks like they are astronauts. Um, but yeah, let's take a thumbnail picture here. I think it's it can be a good one. Let's do it. Let's try to get in. Turkish flag with the half moon and the star. I think there might be some kind of a ceremony today. Oh, oh sorry. Yes. There is some kind of a ceremony today. Actually, I was actually walking through it. <laughs>
museum that there is here in the complex and I'm just gonna munch on a protein bar that I got yesterday in the supermarket and then proceed towards the castle I believe of Ankara <sighs> All right, on the way to the castle right now, you can see it on the top of the uh, of the hill there with the Turkish flag flying through the wind. It's gonna be a bit of a hike to get up there, about 20 minutes I reckon. See you on the top. All right guys, a quick update. I'm still walking towards the castle. Google Maps is saying that it's five more minutes still, but I wanted to still show you this area uh, adjacent to the castle. It looks very traditional. Look at the houses, the white houses. Let me just check one second. Uh, Check the Google Maps just a second. Hold on with me, guys. Okay, so it's to the right here. Let's follow on. So yeah, these houses remind me a lot of the Bulgarian old traditional neighborhoods with uh, sections of the houses like this one uh, coming out, popping out from the uh, house itself from the perimeter of the house as you saw I took off my jacket my hat I'm sweating I'm super hungry and I just had a little breakfast this morning haven't had lunch it's already three o'clock <clears throat> and uh, also actually I need a bathroom but I was not able to find one so far so for now we are gonna resist look at here this would probably be where the animals would stay in the old days let me see how far is it there are some souvenirs selling so it means that it's a bit touristy sometimes although i don't see so many people around it's full on winter so let's see if it's through here through this big arch people seem to go to the left let's see what's there I'm not sure if this is the main entrance but let's give it a shot yeah wow look at this And Sanat, and Cafe, Sanat. So I think it's uh, not so much... Uh, so maybe this is like the... The whole area, it's like a castle. That street looks nice, but I wanna try to go to the top first 
to check out the view as well to see the top of the castle i see people there on the top but maybe it's through the stairs that we saw earlier but let's try the let's go to see the view from here wow oh my god looks really cool ankara from the top guys i bet on the top of the castle it's even better whoa check this out all right guys we made it to the top fortunately the battery of my camera is dying call to prayer in the background view of Ankara look at this view this is unbelievable and with the pray call to prayer it's amazing
all right guys I just finished uh, the uh, Turkish bath experience it was super good I couldn't film so much so just to give you a quick update it's uh, actually down this road where there is the green light at the end behind this car when it passes but yeah you cannot really film so much it's just like uh, a bunch of naked um, old men so and the uh, guy um, yeah so the experience was super nice they make you like a scrub and also uh, with the soap and everything and there is sauna and the cold pool and the steam room it's it's an amazing experience there is the guy giving you a massage an old and fat guy like kicking your ass basically yes an amazing experience it cost me about 250 Turkish lira so about seven eight euros but you need to keep in mind that this is like a local one so I believe that in Istanbul somebody told me that you can spend up to 50 euros if you go in the touristy one this was a uh, pretty cheap I think and uh, yeah so but I think this is it for this video it got very very long um, so I hope you enjoyed it I hope you liked it and if you did then uh, leave a like comment and subscribe to the channel that would help me so much grow the uh, the channel so yeah thank you for watching and see you lots more coming from beautiful turkey